It's been a while since I did one of these. Uh, I've actually changed the recording method quite a lot since then. Look at all the colors and things I have. I play this way too much, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who I mean. I normally play as Embryo. I don't like Nasty Norkis. Should be Crunch, should be Pinstripe. I mean, it's Amy's color. Or Amy. Amy, it's Amy. It's her, it's her color, so I thought, oh yeah, you know, and then immediately chose the skin that doesn't match her the original colors anyway. And I'm like, ooh, paint job. That's the new one that I unlocked too. Just trying to unlock more stuff for this game lately. They added the lab assistant and I haven't had a chance to purchase him yet, so I'm hoping to get that soon because I thought what an interesting additional. <coughs> so they also re-added stars or cleared my old star process progress and now I'm having to redo all the cups because in the original PS1 release it gave you like a bronze star for beating it on like easy silver medium and the stars don't really seem to do anything they're just there to say you did it on hard mode you did it on easy mode whatever uh, but this game the AI on hard mode is actually surprisingly hard like they they don't give they don't let you like fuck up once like so we're doing medium because it's gotta have been a while since I last played so I chose Amy Amy whatever because uh, she's speed type and I normally use the ones with the top speed and the bad handling because <laughs> Way back from the PS1 days. <laughs> you see I get hit once and the entire crowd go by me in this, so I and mean, this is medium. So you can you can see you can imagine how bad hard is. I'll do an example of hard later if I feel like I would just want to watch myself lose. <laughs> I just threw something in my own face. So yeah, way back from my PS1 days of playing this game, uh, I learned that if you want to win on hard mode, you have to use the top speed characters and just be good at like aiming them at the right place, because otherwise everyone outruns you, right? You need to have constantly trying to be going at max speed, boosting all the time, drifting around all the corners, so your handling isn't that big of a deal, maybe. <laughs> I always saw it in these games as like acceleration is your recovery from being hit uh, to get back up to a high highish speed. Uh, your handling is getting around the corners, obviously, and your top speed is your potential to just if you're always boosting, how far can you? How fast can you get? And you just need that top speed all the time, <laughs> like. If you want to beat the hard guys, and you need to just be boost all day, boost all night. That's how I saw it. I Don't get me wrong, I haven't read the meta. I don't know how it actually works. I just found my most success came from that, so... And it's working for me now, because I'm just boosting all day and I'm half the track ahead of them on medium. But if I get hit once, I'll be 8th again. Don't don't let my distance, like, if I fall in the ice here, like, it will just send me basically with everyone zooming past me again. Oh, nearly hit my own potion. <laughs> yeah, 
big hint when you're playing against the AI, especially on hard mode, you have to take the shortcut every single time and not fuck up, basically, uh, on every track that has a shortcut. And if you if you bomb <laughs> or plant anything on the shortcut, only you are gonna hit it because they don't use the shortcut. <laughs> they just have broken like stats at hard mode. But yeah, this is medium. So yeah, I have some favorite characters I play. I basically play Crunch, Fate Crash, Pinstripe, Embryo, sometimes uh, Engine. Uh, I've played loads of characters though. Like I, I think I've pretty much unlocked like all of the skins for winning on most characters I give a shit about. Even Komodo Mo, who I barely play. So yeah, even Koala Kong. And I have to say, I feel like they did the least amount of work with Koala Kong. Like, yeah, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad people remember Koala Kong, but like his voice clips are very limited because he had very limited exposure in the games. <laughs> so it's a shame. Because he didn't have a voice, I don't think, in the first game. and He was only in game one. And then Tiny Tiger basically replaced him as the muscle character. And now they have Crunch as well. Oh, I normally play as Dingo Dial, or sometimes I play as Tiny Tiger because, of course, they're like speed characters too. Uh, all of the Bandicoot girls, I messed, up, I messed around with the Bandicoot girls. It sounds so messed up, but not like that. <laughs> They always give me a speedy in this area, which is like such pointlessness. Gotta catch this guy. Yeah, squish him. I don't like the HD version of Spyro's version of Nasty Morph. They've turned him into a huge loser. But maybe he always was a huge loser and I just didn't read that when I was a kid. He got hit by my own bubble there. <laughs> Fast for my own good. I love this track. This is one of my favorite tracks in the Crash Team Racing games, by the way. I used to like Cortex Castle, but it's like. This one is the angular track I like the most. I just like it. I just think it's neat. Oh. So anyway, I said to myself, I'm going to be recommending Death Metal throughout this uh, now. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, I feel like it. So, um, let's see. What was I listening to recently? So there's this great Death Metal super group that has some like, members of, I think, Opeth and... Is it Catatonia? Uh, called Bloodbath, and they're really good, and you should go check them out. Uh, oh, and I, I unironically, <laughs> like a lot of people are writing memes about bands like Two Mold because that is what what a kind of extreme kind of name for like. But yeah, I really like Two Mold. They're doing some really really solid death metal. Uh, if you really like just solid, like death metal ass death metal I can recommend Two Mold and Genocide Pact they're pretty good but you can tell and I just love it they're just they're unambiguous their name tells you everything their artwork tells you everything you don't have to go oh I wonder what kind of band this is and they do what they do and they do it well you know, sometimes it's better than just having a stupid gimmick to try and make out you're a galaxy brain when you're actually not. <laughs> Need to hit my own potion again. <clears throat> throws potion forward, nearly throws it in his own face. Oh, I don't like that outfit for um, whatever, maybe. Is that Isabella? It's Isabella. I do like Gnome Velo, but I never play Velo, so... Real Velo. 
lot of other stuff that I've been listening to recently. I told myself I'd check. Oh, I, I revisited Job for a Cowboy, and man, that was like a nostalgia trip. I was never a huge Job for a Cowboy fan. I had one of their posters that I pulled out of a Metal Hammer um, magazine when I was a kid, and I had it hung up in my uh, cupboard. Uh, just because the it was for the album artwork for Ruination, and that's a fucking sick album artwork cover, so I was just like, oh, I'm going to hang this up somewhere. And I think I listened to one track from Ruination and was like, at the time, only really into clean metal, you know, the stuff with like clean vox. I couldn't handle scream stuff very much, and it was a bit like, uh, <laughs> for me at the time. Harshest thing I listened to back then was like Five Finger Death Punch, Don't, No Judgment, and uh, Trivium and Kill Switch. So, yeah, I didn't even listen to Lamb of God or Machine Head. So, yeah, like, because uh, I thought they were just too hard. Man. And now I'm listening to shit like Immolation all of the time, which are, again, another fucking amazing band. Uh, yeah, so that was a like trip down memory lane, and I was like, whoa. I know they've been inactive, the whole shit, for a while, but, you know, they're pretty good. I believe a lot of the members of Job for a Cowboy are in the band Serpents of Gnosis now. Or Gnosis. Gnosis. Uh, so, yeah, if you miss that. Uh, so. This, I always equated this for Mario Kart fanboys. This track is essentially the game's Rainbow Road, where there's just no barriers, and it fucks you if you fall off once, and you end up eight. It's basically the same. Take your time. <laughs> like a punk. I was gonna shoot him, but now this missile's got me. Really? <laughs> I think I like I like this character out of all the Bandicoot cheerleader girls. I think I like this one the most. They they gave them all such a vivid personality, which they never had in the original game. So because in the original game they were literally would be on screen for five seconds to give an award to whoever won the cup. So. You know, further's the point of why didn't you give Koala Kong a personality? <laughs> even gave Penta Penguin. Oh, she was in the, uh, the, the manga. There was a Crash Bandicoot manga. See, I'm in. Fuck up once and that's it. This is medium. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what else was I going to recommend? Uh, oh, fuck. How they've all fallen out my brain. Um, oh, jeez, I'm, I'm dying here. Let me get a thing. Oh, uh, a hard rock band. That seemed like a good up and comer if you want to listen to just some good chorus heavy hard rock. And you kind of miss bands like. Uh, <laughs> I think like Death by Sexy era Eagles of Death Metal, you should check out Dirty Black Summer. They were really good fun. They had like elements of Stone Temple Pilots vibe to them when I was listening, and they also had a lot of like that kind of, you know, remind me of Gentleman's Pistols, The Answer, that kind of vibe of rock, and I was like, yeah, you know, like Danko Jones, that kind of stuff. Danko Jones. Dank Jones. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, if you want some hard rock, you can go check them out. Uh, I'm not just about death metal. I'm also about black metal. Uh, oh, Carpathian Forest. Holy shit. I really like Carpathian Forest just because sheer, like, madness. I love it. Very hard, though. Am I too good? very hard so if you're like early with the <laughs> if you're very like early black into the metal it, i wouldn't go straight to carpathian forest you know you're skipping a few steps but like they're pretty good 
Oh, and Dissection, not exactly a new pick, but if you like, uh, if you like black metal, you can't go wrong with Dissection. I really had fun with Dissection. Uh, just some real classics in there. Some real classics. What else can we have here? Oh yeah, Tribulation were not what I anticipated and like they were had some real nice tone to them. So if you want to check out Tribulation, pretty good Swedish, I think it's Swedish, black metal. Uh Necrophobia were pretty good. Oh, and th these are a bit more conceptual, but they're still pretty hard, they're pretty black metal. <laughs> The band called An Autumn for Crippled Children. <laughs> so uh, if you want to check those guys out, they're actually really good. It's just like, that is just the most death metal last name I've ever heard ever. Uh, Skeleton, ne Necrot are both very good. Ulcerate were really good. Oh, and again, if you just want death metal ass death metal, go listen to Aborted. Aborted are really good. Oh, and Lantern. Lantern are pretty good, too. Yeah. I've just been listening to a lot of new death metal lately. Wake. Wake are pretty good. Didn't really like those guys, so I won't talk about them. Uh, Adzes? A-D-Z-E-S. They're pretty good. I like them. Uh, Moon 2 for very experimental. So, you know, if you liked the Dillinger Escape Plan or something like that, or like Between the Buried and Me, where it was just a bit like it's hard, but it's doing a lot of different stuff and there's just a lot of different time signatures and like they're going into like a jazzy style and they're coming back out of it and like the same song and you're like, what the fuck's going on? And it's very math, very math rock of them. Yeah, Moontooth. Go check out Moontooth. They're pretty good, too. Um, I don't really like this track. I'm not going to lie. So <laughs> that's why I'm just talking that metal. But yeah, like... Uh, this this track feels just like... Uh, they added two tracks on the PlayStation 1 original... That very much felt like we ran out of data on the disc, just make a plain ass, bland ass track. And they kind of tried to jazz it up with all the arena dressing now, but like in the day it was just a green ass, like, track like this. Just green grass, tarmac. And it just reuses the tiny tiger, uh, the tiny arena, I should say, track thing. And it was very much like shit stuff it with a few more like quick tracks that are like demo tracks like turbo track in this one Am I, too good? I win okay maybe I'll use this as a platform to recommend more death metal <laughs> and other metals I like all the metals except some of them <laughs> I'm gonna actually have a little try later. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, do hard mode. I don't wanna put one up of me failing cause like that's not really fun. So I'll see, you know, if it goes up and it's me doing hard mode it's because I, I succeeded, spoiler, but like, you know, it's been pretty good. This is good to just ha hang out, chill, not have to worry about some shit. So it's, it's pretty relaxing for me. You can turn off your brain a bit. <laughs> there are these load times. Holy shit, there we go. <laughs> Punch me, no. Don't punch me. 